lab core, which is where I get my blood work during the whole IVF process. It's where I've been coming in the mornings to get my monitoring blood work for my hormone levels so they can adjust my medicine. And so today I'm getting blood work. I'm not really sure why, but it is exactly one week before our intended transfer date. And so they want to check blood hormone levels. And I'm headed to an ultrasound after this to make sure that my lining is prepared and ready for transfer of two embryos. So today is kind of the moment of truth on whether or not we can transfer. And then on which day it's going to be, they narrow it down a little bit better based on what it's looking like today. So if everything looks good and we'll start progesterone in two days and a transfer in seven days. I am just waiting for LabCorp to open. It's about 7.20 right now. 7.24. I also wanted to say last night I was going to bed and my hair was still wet from my shower and when that happens you just never know what you're gonna get the next day and so Brad was like are you feeling lucky? But obviously we turned out on the larger side so I should probably go get in line and yeah, I'll see you in there. She is so here. beautiful. Oh, thank she's you. So <laughs> she is so pretty. Uh, an old boy. I feel like it's pretty huge today. I love it. Oh, I thanks. Like, see, I like the, the that's the look of it. Sexy. It yeah. is. And that's what I like about it. It's, it's all, I love it. So, thanks. So is that your natural hair? It is. Or, so, okay, it's pretty. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> see, I like it when it's out. Yeah. I hope I look like somebody. Oh, you look beautiful. <laughs> it's Jersey Day at LabCorp. Right. Okay. That was what he lost. A little stick. Okay. Yep. Next time I come in here, it'll be for pregnancy. That's right. Draw. That's right. Yeah. That's what we want. Yep. Can't wait. I know you can't. Praying and praying. I pray for all of these and come in and for That's everybody. That's awesome. Thank you so much. And I'll um, come back and I say, good news, good news. Yeah. Good news. Okay. I'm just excited because they are. Well, hopefully that's us. That's right. and I'm here at Coastal Fertility Satellite location in Bluffton where you can get your monitoring done. Uh, you never really see a doctor here, you just get your ultrasound so they can monitor you from Charleston. I'm getting ready to head in for my ultrasound. So that sounds like really good news. I guess my lining's at 13 and I think they want it at 8. Um, I don't know that for sure. I'll hear later today from the doctor on the actual transfer date. She is just so sweet. I love her. I've seen her for all of my ultrasounds throughout this whole thing and she's been with me through the ups and downs and she gave me a hug when I left because hopefully this is the last time I'll be seeing her. So she's just really, really sweet. I guess she's the ultrasound tech for one of the OBGYNs in this area and Brad and I haven't really settled on what OB we're going to go with. I might see her in the future if we end up going with them, but she's really sweet. When she gave me a hug, I almost started crying. Oh my gosh. All right, I got to go to work. Doing a little marinade for the grilled chicken breast. What are we up to? Uh, just salt and pepper. <laughs> We're gonna grill tonight. It's gonna be pretty dang good. Right, Iris? Well. Right, Rusty? All right, you wanna tell everybody what we're doing? All right, well, today we fixed a door and then we did uh, another door fix. And as a reward, we're gonna go to the air base here in town in Beaufort. That dude is crazy.
<laughs> You're so guilty all the time. <laughs> It's your turn. I picked it up last time. There's a surprise on the porch. Rachel Ingebart. Rach and Brad, praying hard for you this week. Love, Sarah. Oh, thanks, Sarah. That's very sweet. How did you know tulips were my favorite? Dad, why are you holding a needle? <laughs>